So there's one time of year that a lot of hunters look forward to hunting and that's the rut. And depending on which tree stand or blind that you hunt could decide your success. So there's a few key elements that I like to factor in when it comes to picking the right tree stand or the right blind to hunt it. And I've chosen this area to do this video in because the blind behind me has all those factors kind of combined that I would personally choose to sit in during the rut. So this is more of an open field area and it is going to differ a little bit from hunting the thick timber and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So the first element that this blind has to make me choose to sit right here during the rut would be that it's got a really great food source out in front of it. Anytime that you can hunt over a food source that the does or the deer are coming to year long it's going to be an area that the bucks are going to come in and check regularly. That's just where they have been patterned to know that the deer are going to be there and so they're going to put the odds in their favor when they're out there looking for a doe and they're going to come to some of these little hot spots that you get with food plots and you'll get similar results if you're hunting over a bait pile the buck might not want to come in to really eat on that bait pile so many times i've seen it that the bucks come in downwind of a bait pile or even a food plot oftentimes and just skirt the perimeter to see what does are in heat now the second element that this blind has is it's got a lot of bedding and cover around it all around these hillsides before you get to the tree line there are 30 to 60 yards of just absolute thick cover now this is cover that also provides food but the deer actually bed in here a lot during the season but during the rut those does are going to try to go in and find sanctuary from those bucks pressuring them and they're going to be able to go into these thick areas and the bucks know that and the bucks already know that the does bed in here so with them bedding in here, seeking covering here, this is an area that the bucks are going to come in and work. He's going to spend a lot of time going up and down these hillsides looking for a receptive doe. Now the nice thing about this too is it also works for the bucks because the bucks like to take those does to an area that they can kind of control them. It's usually a thicker area so maybe one of those bucks will even bring a doe and bed her up in this area and from that blind we'll be able to see that from our vantage point. Now the bucks are going to have to work this area pretty hard because these does will hold tight. I've seen them hold so tight to this brush during the rut that I had a four-wheeler trail down an old logging road that was just thick and I drove within feet of a doe that was piled up under the brush looking up at me and just begged me with her eyes to not give away her location and I just kept driving right by her. And they're going to hold tight and so those bucks have really got to work this area. So you can place a trail camera over these elements, whether it be food or bedding, and it's going to help you monitor those areas. It's also going to help you know when the rut kicks in. You'll see an increase of buck activity, especially during daylight, and let you know you need to get to the stand. So the last element that's probably going to draw me to hunt this blind is more of a personal preference, but I love the field of view that you have here. During the rut, those bucks are going to travel sporadically throughout the day, and it could be morning, noon, or night. And so by having a large viewing area like you do from this blind, it's only going to increase your odds that you're going to see a buck as he's going from point A to point B looking for a receptive doe. Now with a lot of states, rifle season coincides with the rut. And they do that on purpose for hopefully increasing the amount of deer that people are able to harvest. And it also ties into that reason of why I like to make sure that I can see a lot because I am going to pick up a rifle during that time and I want to reach out and tag that buck if an opportunity presents itself. Now that's going to be a little bit different if you don't have any open field area on your property and you're just hunting timber area. Same kind of rule applies. I like to make sure where I can see more of the area if I can even if I'm hunting in the timber and that might allow me to reach out and call a buck that I see and try to get him to approach in to a closer distance. The main difference I'm going to have between hunting timber during the rut and the blind during the rut, I'm still going to try to get closer to the food source. I still want to be closer to a bedding area or a, a sanctuary area that those deer are going to frequent, but I'm going to hunt the ridge tops. I want to try to find a travel corridor or a pinch point. And a lot of times during the rut, if you are hunting timber versus open field like this, especially if you're hunting a really hot rut, you're going to get a lot more activity throughout the day in the woods versus in an open field area like this where that sun's able to beat down on them because they're already working and running and they're panting and getting hot and um, those deer are going to take sanctuary in that timber and continue feeding and rutting and everything in that timber. So we like to hunt ridge tops here in the Ozarks. Thermals are going to come up during the day. At night they're going to go down in the valley. You can't hunt at night anyway. So those bucks are going to use those thermals and check for does on those hillsides. So you can put yourself up on that little highway, that ridge, and hopefully intersect the buck traveling. So if you take those three elements into consideration, this rut, when you're deciding on hunting a tree stand or a blind and you're looking for the food, 
the cover or the bedding and then making sure that you have an area that you can really see a vast amount of land it's going to better your chances in tagging a buck this rut.